Hi, this is a quick tutorial for Sherry who asked how to create the outline of a text using Inkscape. So let's get started by um, creating some text here. So I'm going to type hello and I'm going to select it. Great. If you go to the objects tab, we will see that we created a text over here. Now, let me change uh, the font and size of this text. So we can go to text, text and font. And I'm going to choose a different font. Let's say Arial rounded. And I'm going to make it larger. And I'm going to click apply. Perfect. So now I have a larger Let's say this is the text I want. So let me just zoom in so we can see better. Let's go back to the object selection. This is still a text object. So up to this point, I'm still able to uh, change the actual text or change the font, uh, things like that. Now, what I want to do now is to convert it to a path because that is what, we, uh, what will allow us to, uh, to outline it. So I'm going to path, object to path. And as you see here, uh, my text is now, has now been converted into a group of paths where each path represents one letter, okay? Now that they are paths, I, uh, I would like to have just one object that is also a path. So I'm going to ungroup this text. So I go to ungroup, okay? And now I have all the individual paths that have been ungrouped. Let's select all of them like this. All of them, I said. <laughs> okay, all of them. And let's merge them together. So we can go to path, union. And this will merge them all together into a single path. Now, since this is a path, we can uh, change the uh, fill and the stroke. The fill is the filling of the letters. In this case, the black that you see is a fill, whereas the stroke is the outline. So let's go to object, fill and stroke. Okay. And as you can see, the fill is, let's, let's remove the fill. And if you remove the fill, you see that the object disappears, but it's still there. Now we can reveal the stroke. So we can say stroke, flat color. Okay, and as you can see, now we have the outline and we can make it thicker. For example, I can say one millimeter thick. There you go. Now, this is still a stroke. If I want to convert it to a solid outline that I can use in uh, other programs such as Cricut Design Space, I want to uh, trace the outline and convert it to a um, path to another path. So to do that, let me select it and I can go to path, stroke to path. And what happened is that it looks like nothing happened, but in reality, now this object no longer has a stroke. If you go to stroke paint, you see that you can just say no paint and it's still there, but it has a fill. So now we're still we are in the situation where we have a fill, but we don't have a stroke. And uh, that's what we want. So we are pretty much done. Uh, all we need to do now is to save it. So save as, let's say documents or no. Huh. Okay, let's go, let's do it to the desk. Let's save it to the desktop. hello.svg and we are done. So now we have this hello SVG file, which we can import in um, other software, software such as Cricut Design Space. All right, hope that was helpful. Have a wonderful day.